Well, memories and stories bind families together, but oftentimes our family photos are stuck in a scrapbook and maybe too brittle to remove. So how will you preserve and share yours? In today's My Life series, our lifestyle and crafts expert Kathy Peterson reveals how we can have lots of fun with genealogy and enhance and share precious photos with our family and friends. Welcome back. Good to Thank see you, you. Kathy. You, you are always such a pleasure because you've got such <laughs> wonderful, wonderful crafts and you kind of help people like me who are not kind of like you. I like to inspire Craft. people. Okay, so I'm going to be inspired this <laughs> morning. So, and I'm inspired by what I see here. Tell me about some of these projects. How did you make them? Well, I actually made it with the Flip Pal mobile scanner. Believe it or not, everything you see here, I scan things that you probably normally wouldn't think or consider scanning. Aprons, old documents like this, yeah. old pieces of lace, just really super simple to do. And then rather than destroying the document or the piece of lace, I've printed it out mm -hmm. on paper and made an ornament. And great for parties. Isn't that uh, how about a gift top? Uh, gift, gift topper. And you have a story behind it. You can say this is a you know piece uh, of lace from my mother, or exactly. this is an old document from my exactly. great grandfather. I love great that. way to share it and give a gift on top of a gift. I basically. think that is so clever. Isn't now this scanner is so tiny. Very tiny. <laughs> what makes it different from well, other scanners that are out there? It's very lightweight. It's lightweight. I throw it in my purse. It's cordless. Ah, it's portable. Very portable. You don't have to plug it into anything. It comes with four batteries. It also has this little um, SD card that slips in and out. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the software is on there, and that's where all your images are going to be stored. So it makes it super, super easy. Has a little simple little on-off button right here, and then all of a sudden your your screen lights up, mm -hmm. so you can see what you're doing. And normally we think to you know maybe scan flat images like photographs and things like that. But what's so cool about it is that you can just lay these down flat and in just a second here, I just accidentally hit the on button. Just hit that and it's going to scan it and the images are going to show I up see on the that images there. So oh, if you need nice. to adjust it or do whatever you have to. That is very, clever. And what's so clever. cool about it is that if you don't have an SD slot in your computer, it comes with this little USB. And you can also enhance your photographs, you can enlarge your photographs, you can print them one up, two up, and you know, just it's pretty much endless. And that's Stitch the thing them that, together, all kinds of And that's things. the thing that I love. And you know, I know you've been very busy lately because yes. you've been touring yes. uh, with the uh, Southern, Southern Women's Women show. show. And I'm certain doing that has kept you busy, but sharing all of this with them, I'm yeah. sure Arsh has been so enlightening. Very, very enthusiastic, yeah. very like, wow, I can't believe you made this from that, yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. This was my little apron when I was this a was child. This was yours? I was just, when little I was a wee little were. tiny girl. Uh. <laughs> so I scanned it, why not? Why yeah. not scan in an apron? So I, I uh, covered up some old disposable salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that is but so clever. the fun part is genealogy. Yeah. We all have these old scrapbooks that are falling apart by, you know, and that you uh, this one's missing a picture. Exactly, yeah. and we'll never find that again. They're brittle, don't want to remove it. So this is where the flip and flip pal comes in. Mm -hmm. You just take the lid off. And you flip it over. Wow. And you can see. You can scan it right there. And then you hit the scanner. Let me turn it on again. So you I never have to timer. lose the picture exactly. at all. You don't have to risk tearing it exactly. by taking it out of its So I'm going to hit scan. Now it has a timer on here. Okay. So I can go one minute, two minute, or ten minutes, mm -hmm, and I had it mm -hmm. on one minute. That's why it turned itself mm -hmm, off, mm -hmm. so it saves the batteries. I, I love the idea of using it for genealogy, using it to preserve old photos, and it also can be a family mm -hmm. affair, because you can get your family involved exactly. in this as well. I can get my kids, exactly. my brood exactly. involved in this, so it really is preserving history. But what's fun is oh, I was looking these at those. 3D objects. Okay. So what are these, Kathy? So these are my dad's medals from okay. the Korean War. He was a Marine. I'm very proud of him. Mm -hmm. And my brother and I would like to share these, but there's only one of each. So you can scan 3D items. Just simply put them down, face down, cover them up, hit the scan button, and look what you get. Isn't that Isn't something? That nice? That's great. So then you can cut it out, and now everybody's got a, a piece of the memory. And we haven't destroyed the original. Let me ask you this, because it does seem so easy. Do you need to purchase any kind of additional software or anything like that? Or Absolutely is it just kind of everything not. you need is there? It's all right here, right on that little oh, card. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so here's the other question. I told you that I'm not craft kind of minded, but mm -hmm. I do get a lot of inspiration yeah, from you. Yeah. How long does it take you, or would it take someone like me to do some of these projects that you've you know, actually not very long at all. You just you know do it with your family, have it more fun. The kids can help you cut out mm -hmm, the pieces, mm -hmm, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. They can help you scan it. So so easy, very child friendly. Um, you know, 
maybe carve out an hour, maybe two hours, depending on which project you're working on. Mm -hmm. This one might take you a little bit longer because you have to do the layout. Yeah, but it looks so is good, it nice? Kathy. It does. It turned out really good. You know good. what I wanted to ask you too before I let you go? Uh -huh. I'm like, what the heck is this umbrella doing here? I was like, is Kathy is expecting it rain? rain in the studio? I saw this umbrella and I'm like, maybe you just left it sitting here. No, I took the scanner and I scanned the, the fabric on the uh, umbrella. Oh, wow. You scanned the umbrella? I <laughs> did. You are too much. I scanned it and I printed it out, yeah. cut it out. Now I have my inspiration for my gift bag. Yeah. Now this gift bag can also double as a scrapbook page or wall art. You can take all the fluff out of it, hang it on the wall, and you've got a cute little memory. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing all these memories with us this morning on the show. It's good to be here. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. And get more tips for your lifestyle and crafts by logging on to kathypeterson.com. Very talented lady. Very nice job, Kathy.